Yo, yo, got some circuits for you. Check it out. I built the uh, motor up down arrows. Got a couple of blue LEDs that are simulating the up down chevrons. Um, show you. This is uh, one of the LED chevrons. It's going to be used for a uh, motor up-down indicator system. Um, basically, these LEDs just simulate that. You need some drivers in there, but um, what I've got is orange lead comes into a resistor to the LED to ground. Just real simple, and it's only drawing four milliamps. Um, the uh, AT Mega part on the Arduino can handle 40 milliamps, no problem. So uh, this would be the up indicator, and this is the down indicator. Um, I set up some switches here to simulate the different um, feedback uh, inputs that we'll be receiving. So the one on the far left is the the uh, motor up limit so basically when the motor reaches the end of its travel it's going to start to indicate that it's close to the end of travel so this is kind of like a proximity uh, limit this is the actual motor up signal motor down signal and then the down limit so at any one time there should only be one of the uh, motor direction um, inputs asserted either up or down or they're both off if the motor is stationary but they both shouldn't ever be on at the same time but that's certainly a state that we should test make sure that uh, it passes so if the motor is traveling up the up arrow is on and traveling down, the down arrow is on. Of course, if they're both off, nothing's indicated. But if they're both on, they're also nothing's indicated, because that's an invalid state. So, if the motor is traveling up, and then it starts to hit its uh, proximity limit, the desired output was that the light should fade in and out to alert the user that it's close to the end of travel. Um, then what would happen is these both would turn, well actually the motor motor up would turn off and motor down would turn on. But the motor up limit would still indicate because the motor is at the high end of its travel so that proximity sensor would still be sensing it so I'm just going to flip the two middle ones here so it, it basically go um, motor up would go off and motor down would go on so it's indicating a solid uh, solid down arrow now even though the up proximity is still indicating so if you can imagine at some point motor travels down far enough to not be in proximity uh, that guy turns off he still indicates on and then let's say he gets close to the down limit now he starts to fade so that's working pretty good and then if it travels back the other way uh, down motor's going to turn off up motor will turn on same thing we got the it's still sensing that it's in the down area, but it's coming up, solid on up. And then he'll turn off, this guy turn on, and he'll sweep. And the LED actually sweeps from 255, it's a PWM output, it sweeps from 255 down to 10. It doesn't go all the way to zero, because it found that if it goes all the way to zero, it kind of makes the LED look 
weird for a very short period of time. It doesn't look smooth. So for the most part we want the up arrow to indicate all the time. We just want it to kind of fade in and out now to let you know, hey, something's up. Um, and if you look at the scope here, you can actually see PWM doesn't actually get all the way see that doesn't get all the way to zero it gets to a value of 10 uh, in decimal out of 255 it does reach 255 very 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 briefly for I don't know what it is like a quarter of a microsecond it's there or something oh I'm sorry it's there for like a millisecond or more still too fast to perceive here on the scope um, and if you notice the PWM does not sweep back and forth linearly it actually dwells at the off more towards the off period or, or the number of 10 or the, I'm sorry the 10 duty cycle so right there right there it's kind of dwelling at the high side it sort of just zips in and out of high the reason for that is because when you look at the LED, when it strobes linearly, it looks like the LED is on most of the time, and it only looks like it dims for a very, very short period of time. That's because the LED at that PWM uh, frequency of about 500 hertz, you know, when you're when you're on for 50% of the time or 100% of the time, the relative brightness of the LED is quite bright. So you don't perceive this fading right um, there when it kind of gets dimmer. You don't really perceive that until the PWM is really low. So I just came up with a, a way to scale, um, scale the way that it increments and decrements such that it hangs out at the low side uh, more than it does on the high side. And you can tweak that. It's a parameter called um, dwell time or something like that. So that's about it. Um, it's really just a proof of concept, but you can hook up the real thing later and uh, Maybe see what the what these chevrons look like in their full glory. That'd be pretty cool. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.